Before we get into this weekly tarot reading for you, I just want to say that I love you so much and I really want to let you know how extremely appreciative I am of you choosing to watch this video, even if it's just for a few minutes. I love you so much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Leo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Leo, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do because that is how I keep up with you guys is through the comments as well, Leo. If you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe for today, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video, Leo, a like and subscribe as well because it does help out this tarot channel a lot. And always I'm super appreciative when you guys do that for me, Leo. But also remember to use your intuition because I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you, Leo. Put it in perspective. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate for you today and leave what doesn't. Because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. I believe the cards are just here to give you some food for thought for this week, a perspective for you to consider today, but never making the choice in your life, Leo, because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So let's just get into your weekly horoscope reading now, Leo. Let's see where it is you guys are currently at, what it is you guys are currently feeling right now in your journey. You have the Page of Fire, the Page of Wands. Come on, fire energy, dressed for the occasion, darling. Uh, so, Page of Fire, Page of Wands coming in for you, Leo. This card says, news of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. And so, with this card, Leo, this is always, I say, like my fresh start card. Uh, breathing new life into a situation or breathing life into a situation that didn't or, uh, initially exist there, right? Paving the way um, in a new way. A little interruption as well, I am doing actually a giveaway for you guys since for hitting 10,000. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, I'm just going to be doing a chance to give someone a chance to have a live reading done with me or a reading done by me, uh, own their own personal reading, whether it's live or recorded. So all the information will be down below. It's a quick, simple process of joining my new Discord and it'll be pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, let's get back into your reading, darling. Putting energy into something entirely new. Uh, so Leo, if you guys have been having like some questions or some uh concerns on if you should jump right and see if you would fly right i definitely see there's this sense where a lot of my uh leos need to be challenged a little bit more on leaving the nest it's just a hunch that i'm feeling as well um because i do feel like there's a little bit of um some reservations going on with this i feel but you know i could be speaking out of pocket darling let's see with the cards let's see what how this story is playing out for you this week Leo. right we have the four of cups coming in here all right so you're going into this new beginning this new journey but you are not seeing something you know right five of uh, swords you're not yeah there's almost like you're having some type of situation presented to you leo but right now there's some type of reservation and like you're not interested in looking into this new energy i feel like there's almost like this resistance where perhaps some of you leos are just like really on an, you don't want to call like the time of death on something i feel leo where it's just like you don't want to just call it quits on something and be like oh should i just give this another chance darling no you shouldn't should i no you shouldn't look into a new direction leo i really do feel like there's this almost chastising spirit guide coming in of where you consistently have been feeding an energy into a situation that you yourself even leo can acknowledge isn't good for you it is i don't know why i'm coming in so aggressively now darling i promise you it's not for me personally um yeah leo what is it that you guys are almost really resisting the change on you guys are so hyper focused on this old situation i feel three of wands coming in here and then the seven of pentacles coming in in the reverse so you are seeing the like you are seeing the signs of things needing to be uprooted leo but i feel like that it's, you guys are already getting into this acknowledgement with it yourself this is probably more so tapping into what you, you've been doing for a while uh for some of you leos you probably have been ignoring like situate like um uh, 
how would we say, we'll just say ignoring the red flags, darling, just because we're in this red mood. Uh, I do feel like you guys have been ignoring the red flags for the, a while on the situation that you need to uproot from. Six of Swords trying to come up, as well as the World card trying to come in here. Because you've been ignoring it for a while, Leo, because perhaps even the idea of putting a closure to this cycle scares the crap out of you. And I can understand that because it's just like you've already invested a lot of energy into planting these things, right? Into planting these pentacles. And so when it's getting inverted, when it's you're seeing signs of things coming becoming undone, right? You're at this place now, Leo, where probably you're some of you guys are just like, I don't know how much longer I can take this anymore. Right? You, know, you don't know how much longer you can ignore those red flags. And, you know, the Six of Swords comes in with the World card, where it's just like, it's, that's what that's what's makes this hard for you. It's like the idea of, how, like, because you can't take it anymore, that's one thing. But it's almost like something has to come to an end as well, when you haven't really wanted it to come to an end. Or accept something for how it is, because it just means, like, the closure of some type of cycle. <clears throat> Paint man coming in here. Yeah, you're seeing different perspectives, darling. Different perspective. Two of Wands. Yeah, here's the thing, Leo. You guys are so resistant on like really putting like ending this last chapter to begin a new chapter. I feel like for you guys, Leo. You guys are kind of like, but you guys are coming to to eventually seeing it on this side of things, Leo. But you guys have been so resistant for a while on being like. Just, I don't know, just like the sense of just disengaging, you know, you haven't been wanting to admit the red flags yourself um, before you delved into something now. And so with this new light of how you're seeing things and realizing that there's no way around this, now you're left in this place of planning and being like, all right, you're seeing things differently. How, do, how does Leo go about personally handling this, right? Let's see. Three of Swords coming in here. So this is letting me know it's like a, this isn't an easy decision, but it's also something that has been an issue for a while, where it's been painful for a while. Four of Cups coming in with this Five of Swords. So it's like, you've been almost choosing to stay blind to being slapped in the face repeatedly by this situation and being disrespected repeatedly. The World card, because this is, I'm talking about what it's overlapping, uh, the World card and the Six of Swords as well with this Three of Swords overlapping is like, this whole cycle at this point, maybe it didn't start out this way. Obviously it didn't for you, Leo. No one just engages a cycle or engages with an energy that's just harmful to them right from the get-go. Maybe there is at one point there is a chance with this person, or maybe at this one at one point it brought you some happiness. But I feel like there's some type of situation that has just divulged into something extremely painful for you to be dealing with. But because like you're so hooked on like what it used to be, darling that you don't want to move on from it right but here's the thing that's like that's something that they used to be as suck as sucky as it might be to hear leo if they ended up devolving into the situation that it is now that brings you pain that's still where it is that they're technically growing right um just in the sense that like a lot of people will associate just with time with more maturity if <laughs> i just noticed my cat doing a little cameo um and just in the same some people can regress in some way, or, you know, energies just no longer start uh, mixing too well anymore. Um, you know, it's just one of those things where when are you going to decide to stop looking at the red flags? Or not to stop, you've been doing that, darling, I feel. Uh, when are you going to accept the red flags as they are, Leo? I do feel like a lot of you guys need to be told in that, you know, just because you can see the potential in a situation, see the potential in a person, doesn't mean they are going to live up to that potential. Doesn't mean they even themselves see that potential in them. It's not your job to make them see that potential either because when you think about it all we that's what we are all doing darling we are all constantly figuring out ways to tap into our highest potential that's what going through life is right you cannot live someone else's life for them if they don't want to do it right and you shouldn't have to it's a full-time job to take care of ourselves darling and to keep our own selves growing right you don't want to make yourself stale just because of this other energy you want to continue rising up right you want to continue ascending right presumably darling we have the moon card stepping forward as well let's see here as well as the queen of cups 
so yeah i do feel like this is one of those things like uh leo this is starting to just impact you more emotionally than you at one point or were aware of right maybe you've been ignoring those red flags for a long time now and just been dealing with it right you've just been dealing with this pain because you can manage with it for a while um but i do feel like there's some type of last straw that is that is going to happen um with this moon card and i know this sounds kind of ominous and i don't really mean it to be in this way leo but i do feel like you're going to finally experience some type of a last straw in this dynamic where you're just like no you're done you're just like you can't do this anymore even just for yourself so uh let's get into this slightly deeper let's see how this pans out the wheel of fortune so that's when the wheels start turning into your favor that's you know it's all connected to i'm watching my cat right now tulip meowing at me she's giving me sass um the wheel of fortune is directly correlated with you guys finally putting yourself first uh leo you guys are putting yourself first and i feel like that's directly when um you start will you will start feeling a lot more forward movement in your life uh let's see here with the ace of swords with yeah ace of swords it's almost like through this finally ignoring no longer ignoring the red flags and just um because i i mean i know i'm speaking in such a way uh leo in that you guys just acknowledge this pain finally and go into this new direction um wheel of fortune ace of swords it almost is like this thing that you weren't aware of like how much was weighing you down and how much was limiting you you have like this new you're seeing things with a new set of eyes the fog has finally been lifted and maybe perhaps this is like the fog being lifted like you're realizing just how toxic a situation was and just not very good for you right seven of wands that's probably what it is yeah you're realizing like how how just how much you allow to be happened to you how much you allow to just slide by in your life right that's what i'm feeling it is to you leo you finally are just at this point where you think the no longer wearing rose colored glasses or no longer wearing like those red uh <laughs> red sunglasses right to not see those red flags anymore you're seeing them very clearly now and it just feels like i don't know leo it just feels like now uh with this newfound like awareness with you finally just putting yourself first um you guys are just i don't know i just keep on hearing like the sense of just being fed up um almost i do feel like you guys are definitely going to have a very strong epiphany moment sometime this week uh leo so definitely let me know in the comments later on what your epiphany moment is definitely um when you do have it because i just would love to know because i'm nosy you already know this uh leo so let's pull some let's do some oracle cards for you guys leo i feel drawn to do some oracle for y'all before we get into your other spreads let's see what oracle cards have to say okay so we have the new moon in capricorn your hard work is paying off it's time to take action the new moon in sagittarius or in aries as well as the new moon in sagittarius luck is on your side notice how you got all new moons uh leo this is all about new beginnings as well very much so uh highlighting the page of fire page of wands cards that we talked about like the new exciting endeavor right so this is already coming in just as a strong message leo of just continuing to push through i do feel like you guys need to continue pushing through um i know some of you leos are you know might have like a little bit of a defeatist attitude i am sensing right now like you're feeling like pretty down in the dumps about um how things or how your life may be setting itself up to be but you know that's just because i feel like for so many of you guys you're so resistant to just opening up to just new energies entirely you keep on trying to bring forth old energies uh old people that just shouldn't be part of your life anymore still trying to make it relevant for you in the now why so <laughs> honey it might hurt some feelings now leo <clears throat> we pulled the platypus card i'm only gonna say what the card itself says darling so don't come after me come after the author of the oracle deck this card says stop complaining and focus your attention on the blessings in your life so you guys i there's such a strong message leo in that you guys are not seeing the blessings the things spirit's trying to present to you because you're just so hung up on trying to keep something in your life something relevant in your life that just isn't good for you anymore i feel octopus card yeah you guys are resistant to the change physical shape shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerisms you guys are not wanting to welcome in change you guys are not liking the change 
in the way that it's looking like to you. But here's the thing, the change is attached to the blessings for you. So you kind of want to embrace this with open arms as much as you can, Leo, because you have the ladybug card now. This says this is a time of good fortune and abundance, so be willing to receive all the good things in your life. So I don't feel like you guys are seeing the blessings. There's something that you're kind of seeing as like, from a defeatist standpoint, because it doesn't feel good to you necessarily initially, right? Perhaps having to let go of something, but it's actually a blessing, right? You may not see it as a blessing today, but you'll see it as a blessing maybe next week, next month, right? But uh, now let's get into Leo, your romantic and your social situations this week. What is going on for my Leos with love and just their, all their platonic relationships, right? Seven of Fire, Seven of Wands coming in here. This card says, defend your beliefs and de de uh, decisions, darling. Uh, stand your ground in choosing your battles wisely. Definitely a week of where Leo, for you guys, you're putting your the Tower card coming in here. So you guys are really, Leo, getting a very much so affirmative message on dare I say, like, removing the rug on a situation with a social dynamic. Again, this is probably what the general portion of your reading was talking about, Leo, where it was addressing no longer seeing or choosing to no longer stay blind to the red flags someone or a situation has been exuding. And, you know, I feel like you guys need to just stand strong in this conviction of being, like, cutting something out entirely king of pentacles because this is how you're going to bring forth a lot more stability into your life uh leo is by letting this go three of wands in the reverse yeah no longer ignoring the signs darling no longer it's spelling itself out just from your general portion leo so you're no longer ignoring the signs so take this as your sign leo to stop ignoring the signs <laughs> Queen of Pentacles coming in here as well, both the King and Queen of Pentacles. This is the next step in your direction, is having a tower moment. Uh, definitely, uh, Leo, you need to just, I do feel like you guys are going to probably throw an ultimatum on a situation, and you need to stand strong with that ultimatum. Uh, so definitely let me know how that goes for you, Leo. Now let's get into y'all's uh career and financial situation this week let's see what's going on there for my videos let's see here so we have the renewal card as well as the page of water opening up to new opportunities so some of you guys may be tempted to leave a job this week we have some some of you guys are tempted to look if there's like something a better offer to be had for you the renewal card archangel jerome says review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts and time to move into a new direction and number two for numerology as well leo so write that down as well as if you're open to connecting to archangel jerome darling if your practices allow that then Arch archangel jerome is extending out a reach of communication to you leo that you can connect to this week as well as the page of water or the page of cups this card says a new person enters your life a relationship begins a new phase and heightened psychic heightened psychic abilities so again i do feel like you guys um in this sense leo i do get i can't help but feel like you're just you guys are just in a strong transitional phase overall some of the some of you guys may the red flags that you guys may have been ignoring may be the red flags in your work environment where you know you have you've been receiving all these signs of like breaking out from it leaving a situation but you've been ignoring it because maybe you know you wanted to just stand by you know gather your funds more right not i mean naturally that's not me chastising you don't really mess with being smart but yeah but i do see this page of cups here something's gonna come forward to you we have wands. Something is definitely going to be coming forward to you. You're going to start seeing more signs this week, Leo, on where you will have a better sense of where you need to take your financial direction to next. I do feel like a lot of you guys have just been managing with something, dealing with something just because of like the greater good. Five of Swords in the reverse here. Yeah, you guys are finally going to be like fed up. Ten of Cups coming in as well. You guys are going to be finally fed up of not having all your cups filled in regards to your financial situation. And I believe pretty heavily with this Three of Wands complementing this renewal energy with this Page of Water energy. I do feel strongly in that you guys are going to be um, finally, for those that have been ex exuding a lot of patience or, you know, just been 
trying to make it make do with a situation that just hasn't been feeling good to you for a while now, Leo. I really do see some type of uh, new opportunity, something new presenting itself this week. Or you're going to start seeing signs of where uh, you can start transitioning into something new, right? So yeah, Leo, that's the reading that I have for you, these tarot cards. If you found any cards that resonated with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Leo. Also, I am doing a giveaway, so be sure to check that out in the comments below. Um, in the description, if you want to join, be sure to check that out. If you would like a book to book a personal reading with me, my information is simplyvelka.com. All my social media is simplyvelka.com. If you have a friend that's into tarot, Leo, or even if they're not, send them one of these videos. And maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Leo, I love you so much.